why Warzone is better than Apex Legends. Although I play both games consistently for the past year, here are the pros and cons of each game and why Warzone comes out on top. First, let's talk the playstyle and pacing of both games. Warzone is definitely slower paced, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. I enjoy slower paced games because I think Warzone nailed it when it comes to this area. 150 players spread out on a huge map, probably 50% bigger than the Apex Legends map, makes it more of a battle royale experience for me because there are so many places that you could go to and get into a one on one gunfight instead of 4 players trying to get the loot in one building. Now not all places in Apex are like this, but the more populated locations are definitely more crowded. In Warzone, a lot of locations have roughly the same amount of loot, and if you win the first battle, you're likely to be set in terms of loot for the mid game. I also love how you can spawn in with a pistol and armor. Supply drops giving you a whole loadout just by opening it should be the greatest thing for pacing. It just speeds up the looting process so much and allows you to get into gunfights quicker. Also, every building has so much loot, like if you loot a little truck with a chest, you're guaranteed to have a gun. It levels the playing field so much and it doesn't feel like the RNG gods can do anything. Money is also a big part of Warzone's pacing. It takes battles to a different level. It makes the game a bit more interesting because you can buy shields, supply drops, and UAVs. I still think Apex has a better pace than Fortnite, but that's a whole nother video. Apex has a smaller map and 100 players and the pacing is fast. Your trio could either die in the first 5 minutes or live until the mid game. Mid game is pretty similar between both games. Intentionally looking for a fight is pretty easy. You should be able to find one in less than 5 minutes. But if you sit back and play for the late game, most of the time you should be safe. Warzone does have a more packed mid game however because of the gulag and you can buy out teammates an infinite amount of times. Now let's talk about balance, loot pool, and updates. Warzone updates very frequently, usually every week and a big update every 60 days or the start of the new season. Apex has around 2-3 updates every 90 days and a big update every season, which is around 3 months. Balancing of both games are above average. In Warzone, picking up anything from a machine gun to a pistol and shooting it is so easy that you could get kills on your first game playing. Although Apex requires more skill, after a few weeks, you should get the hang of the aiming. This doesn't mean that Apex doesn't balance guns well. In fact, I think they do it better than Warzone. It's just that the guns are easier to aim on Warzone. They do, however, balance their champions well too, which have different abilities. Although their balancing of champions are not the best, it's hard to find the perfect balance because there are just so many abilities that do different things. It isn't like guns where you can just fire at different speeds and damage. So overall, both games do a good job in balancing. The map in Warzone usually haven't changed since it came out. All the big locations like the hospital and the airport are still the same as well as 90% of the map. Don't get me wrong, it's a great map, but just implement a big change for once. Apex already has 3 maps and are implementing a lot of changes to them over time. I wouldn't say it's like the same level as Fortnite, but it's still very refreshing. I would still take Verdansk any day above Apex, but you can't deny they put in the work when it comes to the maps. I prefer Warzone when it comes to balancing and weapons, but Apex when it comes to the maps. Warzone's movement is also really good, it feels so fluid, very real, but Apex, it has more of a hero-like movement, so it doesn't feel as real, but it's still okay. There are still a lot of problems with Apex's content and update frequency, but I will link to that video in the description. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming, or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.